Hello everyone, this is Cody Lee of BlackCatBooks.org, author of Cruel and Beautiful, Eye of the Dragon, Rabbit Hole, and King Dio. Near reincarnation has flopped. Uh, the gacha game based on the uh, popular Near series has uh, has hit shelves. Um, Metacritic store, well, hit like uh, app store shelves. People have reviewed the game and it is overwhelmingly negative. This is Yoko Taro. 54% on Metacritic, like unbelievable. How did we go from the most critically acclaimed game of 2017 to this? A cash, a cash grab gotcha mobile game. A mobile game that isn't even popular. Square Enix legit thought they could throw 2B's ass in your face and you would gobble that shit up like, uh, like you did the original. Like they legit thought they could get free money off of 2B simps by simply releasing a gotcha mobile game. And uh, what happened? The market rejected it. The market said, no, we have enough waifus, we have enough gotcha games, we don't want them. The near audience is not the gacha audience. And and this is kind of an interesting, uh, a little little interesting thing here is just like, is just seeing how this kind of uh, situation tends to play out. Because we're seeing like companies try and fail consistently to introduce uh, mobile games to try and like move, take these mo uh, home console releases, like major big budget releases, and try to release them on mobile. And what typically happens is that you have like a few like heavy hitters, like high profile releases that bring in like billions of dollars. And then you have shit like this, like stuff that only like devalues the brand and really just goes to show just how like finicky the mobile market is. Like home console, mo near, near Automata fans, are not going to look at this game and say that like, oh yeah, uh, ah man, I want I want to see more of Two B's ass. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep throwing Square Enix money through this gotcha, and that'll get me that'll get me some uh, some more shot uh, more more uh, more pictures of it. No, like they're just going to it's just going to make them hate you for not producing a real sequel. And I and I do think this is a uh, I do think uh, we're at the point now where we can safely say that like Taro is done. Well. Not really done, but that um, Nier Automata was a fluke. Like, Nier Automata is never going to be repeated. It was like, it was a budget, it was a release that caught on among PlayStation owners who were desperate for a game around the time that like uh, Switch and Breath of the Wild were picking up steam. You had a lot of games like that, like Yakuza 0. Uh, people were fanatical about that for a while. Uh, you know, not a great game. People were fanatical about like, you know, Horizon Zero Dawn for a while, completely forgotten, and uh, now people have moved on to have moved on to this. Like, uh, yeah, Near Tamada is the same mold, right? Like, uh, it came out like got a fan base because uh, you know there's nothing else on PlayStation, and it's now been forgotten. Like, uh, and this is proof of that. Like, I, I'm not sure if the remake is out of the original is out yet or or not, but I don't see that doing well either. Like, I don't, like, uh, unless they completely overhaul the combat and, like, fix the problems the original had, like, it's not going to be as well-received as Automata. There, there's no sequel in sight. Like, you're just going to, like, put out this mobile game and, and that's it? That's it. That That's all you did for your, like, legions of devoted fanboys. Like, unbelievable that this game, like, supposedly sold so many copies. Like, 5 million copies, I think. No sequel, no spinoff, no, like... No like uh, further contact contract with Platinum Games. No like no new IP from the same creator plant. Nothing. Nothing at all. Like you are completely left out in the cold. You're never getting anything again. It's over. And uh, oof. Meanwhile, uh, Nintendo fans, uh, Breath of the Wild fans. Like shit. We get Breath of the Wild in 2017. We get Link's Awakening remake, a wonderful remake. Skyward Sword HD, wonderful re-release, and Breath of the Wild 2 coming soon on top of like some extras like uh zelda one two and three for on nintendo switch online like all four of the uh, the original zelda games are available on switch right now with uh, some added sequels like and and i'm sure like further along we're gonna get more games i'm sure like ocarina of time will be ported eventually hopefully now i don't know like maybe another five years i, I could see that game coming out like uh yeah yeah 2028 like for the 30 year anniversary of the game uh that might be cool. It might not be re-released re uh, again until then. 
Uh, that might be interesting. That, that'll, that'll be cool to see. Uh, yeah, we could see, like, a remake of, like, the Oracle games or, like, all this stuff. Like, Nintendo fans are just, like, drowning. Like, you, you know how, like, uh, <laughs> like, I feel like a man, like, drown. I'm, I feel like a man drowning watching other people, like, die of thirst. You, you know what I mean? Like, you guys are so desperate for anything. Like, uh, you, you guys ate up nor near in spite of being, like, mediocre as fuck. And, and now look at you. Like, you have nothing other than the shitty mobile gas game. 